Ah, uh, well, welcome to this Photoshop in 30 Seconds tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com, where today we're going to take a look at the new and I would say somewhat conceptual, at least as of the end of 2015, design space preview in Adobe Photoshop. This is for newer versions of Adobe Photoshop CC. I'm not exactly sure which version it came out with, but I do know that if you have an older version of Adobe Photoshop, you're kind of uh, out in the rain on this one. But check this out. You go under your Photoshop menu to Preferences. Now, if you're on a Windows or a PC machine, I should say, this Preferences menu is under your Edit uh, menu there. So we're going to go Photoshop Preferences and choose Technology Previews. Now, under Technology Previews, we have this Enable Design Space Preview where Photoshop gives you some gobbledygook about what it is. Who cares? Let's enable it and hit OK and check it out for ourselves. So when you do this, you're going to get like a little overlay. Photoshop will say, hey, look at all this new stuff. Great. I just skipped through that. Um, in fact, you didn't even see it pop up here on my uh, screen. But you can look at this. It's a simplified Photoshop user interface. There's five tools. You have your documents aligned, boom, right across the top like that. You have quick export features. Export is right there. You can zoom in. We've got this icon here to just instantly export um, and save out, which is great. Um, and we have all of our alignment features, like I mentioned that, width and height, X and Y coordinates, where you're scaling from. You can see when I hover over, I have a layer group here. If you check out the layers panel, the layer group contains two different types of text, just as like normal Photoshop text layers, right? It's, it's really not that much different than creating stuff in Photoshop. Um, but if I want to edit some text, well, first of all, I can just click and drag and I can drag anything I want. I can drag the background image. If I click and drag, well, first I need to hit the little lock icon to unlock it. And I can just click and drag. So I can drag that over and then grab my text and drag that over. I don't want to do that. Um, but you can see it's super easy to just go ahead and grab anything and edit it. Now, because of the text being grouped up, we got two layers of text in there. What we can do is we can simply double click on it. It's going to open up the group and now we can either edit our header text or our body text. If I want to edit the body text, double click, select and edit whatever I want. Over here in the appearance panel, I can change the color, I can change the, uh, the opacity, the font, the size, anything I want. It's all right there. I can commit the change. I can go and do the same thing here to uh, my header text as well. So I'm doing all of that without reaching over and grabbing like the type tool or double clicking a text icon um, in my layers panel. So all that is really, really cool stuff. Um, and as you can see, it's just really, really simplified in general. The menus are very simple as well. And of course, if you don't like this version of Photoshop, and it's not going to work for everybody, but it's a very like simplified, like they call it, a design uh, view or a design feature set. You don't like it? You can just return to standard Photoshop, boom, just like that. You're, no, you're none the worse for it. And if you want to jump back to the desi design space, you always can jump back to it. So that is it. Design space preview. If you have it, check it out. It's really cool. Um, if for nothing else, you might find something that it really helps you with. Um, and it's great for designing uh, UIs or something. I don't know, whatever it may be. Uh, but that's it. Design space layout in Photoshop. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.